Mr. Mrs. Brandenburg, do you have anything you want to put on the record? Yes, I'm very disturbed at the fact that we were not notified immediately in March and that this was clearly not put out for us to be able to react to because it was knowingly carried out that way. The other thing that I'm very disturbed about is your numbers are off and they are egregiously off. Our first batch that we dropped off on the 14th was 19,500. The second batch apparently didn't even show up and you clipped 2,500 off the first batch without even letting us know. So I have affidavits that we dropped off two different ones and where, what did y'all do with my second batch of signatures I, I dropped off? Because in that batch, it was all volunteers as, well, that's where our volunteers were. It wasn't all volunteers, but that's where our volunteers were as well as some from a second signature company that we hired because we wanted to make sure this was covered. We hired these companies for, for verification because we did not have the access to be able to verify our own signatures and neither do any of the candidates. I find this process to be an arbitrary, an arbitrary goat rodeo. It's a shame. It's, a, it's an assault against the American people on every single level. And if, if the state is hiding information from the candidates to be able to fix the process, we have a big problem huge problem. I would like to see every single, uh, this needs to be remedied. It's going to be remedied one way or the other because this was foreknowledge. It's shameful, absolutely shameful. How many signatures are you saying you uh, dropped off to the Secretary of State's office? The first batch I turned in, we estimated at 19,500. The second batch that we dropped off was 886 petitions, um, petitions. And in that, we estimated that at 8,000 that we dropped the second. I've never heard about the second drop. And the first drop, we have, we have 2,500 count disparity. So how can we trust anything that's coming from this so process you, whatsoever? 19,500 and 8,000, those are the two numbers? What's that? 19,500 and 8,000 were your two drops? We estimated 8,000. We had 886. They asked us for an estimate. The first estimate was 19,500. The second drop was 886 petitions. So why, why do you keep saying 8,000? I'm, I'm we took it down. It could have, we could have said if they were full, we could have said 8,860, uh, but we dropped it to 8,000 8, to make sure that we were at more 8, accurate. Is your guess. So about 27,000 is what you're yes. thinking you dropped off. And this report indicates you filed 17,000. I have no idea what happened. And we have copies of all of them. So what happened? First, we had it hidden that you guys had evidence, the state had evidence that the petition gatherers were fraudulent and we were never notified. I found out through texts from people that saw this in the media. This is a goat rodeo. Well, I mean, the question I'm having is not what's fraudulent or not, is how many you dropped off. Well, I've got copies of all of them. We took two copies of all of them. And then all of the volunteer signatures were just arbitrarily thrown out because they were in the second set of submissions. What happened? There's no truth in any of this.